my hair has got so long didn't grow for like the first half of 2018 and then november december is like <laughs> let's go welcome back to the channel you're gonna have to deal with the creaky floors i'm sorry hi welcome back to the channel my name's chloe if you did not guess from my channel name this is january and everybody's getting into like the whole fitness thing again good on you carry on going push through even if you don't have motivation just keep on going i thought i would do showing you my fitness leisure wear collection so this is all of the active wear that i own and i just thought i'd walk you through it better to stand at this side who knows the only things i've not hung up are my sports bras and my shorts my shorts but i do have them all here so i will be talking going through them all should we go through them first anyway i will try and link everything down below it's gonna be really hard because some of it's pre-mark and you don't can't link to pre-mark and all of it from pre-mark is like five years old so there will be really no point in me linking i will link the other stuff what you're gonna see is mainly two brands not mainly two brands, you will only see two brands. I only own two brands. I want to branch out and buy other brands. So if you know any other good sportswear brands, hit a girl up. We've also got two brands here from very different price ranges. So we've got Primark and we've got Gymshark. I will go through them both. I love them both. And that's about it. So I'll link all the Gymshark stuff. I can't link the Primark stuff because Primark doesn't have somewhere to link. And there'd be no point. But let's get into it. I guess we'll start with the sports bras because we'll just start as we go on. Sports bras. Incidentally, I also have my um, gym BP band on. Sports bras. I have a few. So, go with my older ones, my oldest ones. These two from Primark. A black and a skin colour, nude, pale skin coloured one. Uh, I really like these. I got them from Primark three, four years ago. Three, I think. Got the black one like three years ago. This one like two years ago maybe. Um, or the other way around. I don't know. But Primark always sells these. They're always there. Every range, I believe they have these, but just in different colours. I like the black one. I wanted a black... Let's put that there. I wanted a black one just because it's always handy. I do wear this as a sports bra and then just as a top. Um, there is no support in this one whatsoever. So I would highly recommend just for like low impact stuff. It's very stretchy, it's kind of loose. They do have good underwire sports bras and stuff. I did have a couple, but then the cups just were too big for me, I think, so I, I don't have them anymore. Um, but I like these ones. They have ventilated back, which I really like. It goes with any sports top. It's a good nude colored one. Is the exact same even though I got it a year later or even two years later I don't know Um, the back again is ventilated I'm not as keen on this color honestly um they did have some nice ones I might go and get a white one and I believe they're only like four pound so they are really good sports bras they have no support in them but they are still really good sports bras I like them for just like days when I'm doing like back or shoulders this one's inside out <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like them. Not 100% on the colour, but if it's underneath a t-shirt, then, I mean, it's fine, kind of thing, so, there we go. Then I guess my next older one would be this one from Gymshark. I love this one. It goes with one of the pairs of leggings that I will show you. Again, this one is kind of similar to the Primark one, shape-wise, at least, it's very similar. I've taken out the pads, you do get pads with it, but I've taken them out. Might put them back in, you never know. I like the big thick band at the back. This one is a lot more supportive than the Primark ones, but not 
mega supportive. Again, this is still one I'd probably only wear on a, like a low impact day. I wouldn't wear this like running or anything. But I do really like this one. I even wear this one underneath this jumper. So I do wear the, this one as like a fashion top as well as a sports bra. This one it was obviously a lot more expensive than the Primark one. I think this one was ranging between 20 and 30 pound, which I never ever thought I was wearing on a sports bra, especially when the Primark ones are four pound and I really like them. Even like the better, um, more supportive bras from Primark that are like six, eight pound, they're also really, really good. So I never thought I'd spend lots of money on a sports bra, but I like it, I think it's cute. I like the logo on it and I wear it all the freaking time and I've had it for two years maybe a year and a half dodo i really like the color i think the color is really nice did i mention i'm not going to be trying these things on because they're just a lot and i get really hot and sweaty so my next sports bras are identical i have two of the exact same sports bra one's a medium one's a large one slightly tighter than the other one so one's slightly better for like higher impact one still a bit tight but not like mega tight i love these ones i love the color way i love i love that the back is slightly thinner than the pink one and so sort of the straps i love that the shadowing on these ones are like slightly more discreet because you do get another color way where the like the shadowing and the cond is um slightly darker but i really like this one it's really comfy again this is one i just wear underneath this jumper or any jumper um, and I got the medium and the large because some days you just need a medium and some days you just need a large. I like them, they're comfy, they're really soft, the material is really good, it's really stretchy too. Again, these both came with pads, I took the pads out, I still own the pads, I might put the pads back in. These are some of my favourites. Again, I think these ones were like in 20 to 30 pound range. But I would say, for somebody who wears them to the gym and then also is just like, tops, they're good. It's a good price. I feel like I'm missing sports bras. I feel like I have other ones, but I don't know. I do have another one. Where is it? Can I get it? I'll get it after these two. So, my next sports bra is the one I got most recently, actually, in December. I feel like this range came out. When did this range come out? I got this one for my birthday. My birthday's at the beginning of December. My boyfriend bought me this. It is dark grey, yellow sports bra. I really like this one. It's really comfy. The material is really, really soft. I don't, this one didn't come with pads, so I didn't take them out and forget to put them back in because it didn't come with them. This one is probably as, um, as supportive as the Primark ones. Kind of in between the Primark and the pink sports bra at the beginning. But I really like it. It's really comfy. It's really soft. It sits nicely. Again, I like the thinner sort of racer back. As you can tell, I quite like the racer backs. It's kind of style sports bras. I think it's kind of cute. I love the colourway. And it matches a few of my other things, which I really like. I like it a lot. I think this one... I really should have looked all this up. I will leave all the prices down below. And probably on the screen even too. Who knows? I do like this one a lot though. It's really nice. It's really comfy. It's not over supportive. So again, I'd wear it on a low impact day. A lot of these sports brands, I'd wear on a low impact day. I don't do a lot of high impact stuff anyway, so. Second to last sports bra. If I can be bothered going and get the other one, I will show you the other one. Whew. So I did actually leave the pads in this one. But they've got a bum fold. Should have taken them out for the wash. I mean... Okay, that's as best as I'm going to do. This is one that came out on Boxing Day. I did buy it. I really like it. It's a lot bigger than the other sports bras I've just shown you. It is also a camel print. I really like the cross back detail. I think that's really nice. And as you can see, it's quite a structured thing. Like It holds its shape really well. It gives you some cleavage going on. And like I said, it left the pads in. It also has a cross front which I really like, and the band it comes down a lot further than the other sports bras basically um, but I really like it and it matches the camel leggings that I bought as well, which I'll show you 
I just really like it. I think it's a really nice sports bra. This one I could wear for high impact stuff because it is tighter, it does hold you and it's really nice. I like it a lot. Okay, so I do have another sports bra but I don't know where it is. It's this one. I wear it more as a fashion top again because I really like the thin straps. I like that they're adjustable. It's really comfy. I have worn it to the gym but I also do wear it as a fashion top. I like to wear it underneath this so you can kind of see the straps slightly and under any other top. I like it a lot. I think in the summertime it's going to be really nice with like shorts and stuff. I love it. It's great. It's really comfy. It's a good one. And I'm out of breath. Okay, so next I'll show you shorts because I only have four pairs and then we'll move on to the rack. So I have three pairs of shorts. I think I got rid of a lot because I used to have more. Oh well. So I have these ones from Primark. They are just, I think these are the older ones. Yeah, these are the, one of the oldest ones. Um, they've kind of got this neon, which I'm not a fan of actually anymore. Um, it's kind of like a dirty neon. I really like the shorts. I love the kind of cash slouchiness of them. I don't actually wear them that frequently anymore. The summertime might be better for it, but Primark shorts are always really good. Primark gym shorts are really, really good. I highly recommend Primark gym shorts. They are good. So I've got those. And the next oldest pair, and honestly, I think they're like five, ten pounds. So, I mean, I've had them for like four or five years. So, the quality is pretty good. These are another pair of Primark shorts. Again, I've had these for a long ass time. I've had them for probably three, four years again. I really like them. They're that kind of, I don't know. They're really, really soft, actually. They're still really soft. And I would say they're still in really, really good condition, considering I've had them for four or five years, which is something I really like about the Primark gym wear. The quality stays, depending on what you get, not everything, but the quality kind of stays really well for a lot of the stuff. Um, but I really like this because it's like a, a floaty soft short with a tighter skin tight kind of lycra. Good in days where you're doing squats but you still want to wear shorts but you don't want to show your arse off. So if you just had this black short your arse would definitely be hanging out. I really like them, they're really comfy, I wear these a lot, especially in the summertime, and they're great, again, like I said, for leg days. They're good. My last pair of Gymshorts are these ones from Gymshark. I've had these for a year, maybe, I don't know. Um, they are still just as soft. They have the big, thick, compressing waistband, which is quite tight. I've actually not worn these as much as I've worn the Primark ones, but I do really like them. They go with a couple of my pairs of leggings. I believe these are like the seamless ones. And I'm only saying that because I can't find a seam. Um, but I really like them. I think they're really nice. Even could be dreamies. I don't know. I'm not good with the name collections. But I like the logos kind of subtle and kind of up the top. Really comfy. They are really stretchy but the waistband is really compressing. I have found though that I like thick compressing waistbands so this one's good for me. It's a good one. I like it and it goes with a lot of colours because of the colour of this. It's looking a lot more red at camera but it's a bit darker and a bit more plummy. But yes, there we go. So that is my sports bras and shorts. <laughs> Why can't I think of that word? So we'll move to the rack now. And then we'll start with leggings, then I've got tops and then kind of long sleeve stuff. So that's kind of the way we can do it if you like. So leggings, we'll start with these ones. I do have another pair of leggings that are identical to these but I can't find them. But I do also have one more pair of leggings but I can't find them. So I've got these ones. These are the flex I want to say. Um, the waistband's got a bit messed up. I love these. I was actually wearing these to the gym the other day. They are great. Um, I probably will wear them to the gym tonight even. Um, I love the colour of the waistband. I love how the waistband sits because it kind of comes up your hips but stays kind of low on your stomach which and it's really actually flattering and it gives you a bit of shape and kind of hides the, that hip fat if you have it and you don't really like it. Um, I really like the fit of these. They are, these are large and they are so stretchy 
so so stretchy um and i feel like they've kind of a bit loose and the leg bit you have a lot of extra material so if you're taller than me i'm five seven i have a lot of material so if you're taller than me they'll probably be great for you but if you're slightly smaller than me large legs when we're really long they have so much stretch in them and i just find them really flattering i love the contouring bit i guess i think it's called i'm going to show you but i will put pictures and stuff i do like them i like them a lot i think they're really comfy they're one of my favorite pairs because of how comfy they are they do get quite warm though but and like i said i do have these but in the slightly newer version where this band is this color but i can't find it and it matches these leggings and i can't find them they must be in the wash but got these ones i like them a lot i almost like to be wearing them to the gym tonight those were the first ever pair of gym track leggings i bought and then these were the second ever pair of gym track leggings i bought i think these were like a year and a half ago two years ago now i don't actually remember 2017 potentially i don't know but anyway these are the seamless range i guess um i love the waistband super compressing super large i love it um i love the fit of these these ones don't have a lot of extra material at the bottom which again i like these ones look amazing with white trainers um i love the little ventilation part down at the bottom on the ankles i think it's just a nice little detail i like that the logo is kind of up the top a bit more subtle again i think it's just on the back because they don't have one in the front i like it it matches it's weird it's looking the same kind of color as the shorts on the camera but they're not the same color like this is a bit more purple the shorts are more purple than these but anyway i love these these are one of my favorite pairs of leggings i wear these probably the most potentially maybe but i love them they are so comfortable highly recommend these ones obviously i got them to the 17 so they're like one of the older ranges of the seamless um but i still really like them i think they're great so the next pair of leggings i'm going to talk about is actually one that owned the longest i think this is the oldest pair of gym thing i own this is like five years old i love these these are pre-mark and they honestly are still just as good as when i first bought them no extra material i love the pattern down the side i think it's really flattering it makes your legs look more shapely i guess it's like marbly almost um it's when marble was like big i guess um the only thing i guess is the waistband is really small and thin and i guess has no other still the elasticity has not been lost also has a pocket in the back which i love and it's a zip pocket too so you can put your like gym card or keys or whatever in it i love these i've had these for five years they're still just as good they've not lost their shape the stretchiness is still there the and they still fit really amazingly so again like i said i highly recommend the leggings and the shorts from primark they're always really good i've had these for five years and i love them i'm still going to keep wearing them they're great yes so the other i'm so confused has that always been there literally has that always been there i've never noticed that before anyway so the next pair of leggings is these black dreamy pairs i wear these every day every every day i love them they're the black dreamies they're from like 2017 again maybe i don't know but i wear them every day no joke i wear them a lot they are great i wear them more as fashion things than i wear them to the gym i don't own any other trousers so this is so hard to put on my gym stuff here and not wear any of it because I don't really own any other trousers at the moment that fit me that aren't my gym leggings so I wear these all the freaking time um at least three four times a week <laughs> I wear these all the freaking time I love them I love the big waistband I love the length of them I love the fit of them and I've just freaking noticed a pocket on the inside I've literally had these for a year and a half two years and there's a pocket on the inside what like how is that a thing hey pocket have i never noticed that before oh and there's a thread coming in now well i mean i wear them a lot 
So, I love these. If these ever break, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna be so, so sad. Can you hear that? That's my cat coming upstairs. I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna have to replace them. Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Oh, you smell smoky. Whose house have you been in? So cute. So my next pair of leggings. These ones, again, I believe came out November 2018. I think these ones were like Boxing Day. Just after Boxing Day releases. So these ones, the Yellow Dreamies. I love these. They are a completely different material to the black ones. Because these are like 2.0 Dreamies, I think. And then those are like... OG dreamies, I believe. Don't know. Don't quote me on that. I love these. These are so freaking soft. They're so stretchy. They're a bit more sucky inny than the black ones. The black ones have kind of lost a bit of their form, I guess. These ones are still very tight to the body. They also get very, very warm. Like I wore these to the gym the other day and I do wear these. They're very bright, but I do wear them. I do wear them to the gym. Cause honestly, I'm not that afraid of color. I will wear whatever. Um, I love them as well. Cause they've got pockets, got one pocket, another pocket on the other side. I don't really know what you'd use the pockets for because they are pretty tiny. They're pretty tiny little pockets, but I love them, I wear them, they're great. They're great, I love them. And they match a few of my other things. Okay, so I guess the next pair of leggings I'll talk about are these ones. These are the grey and yellow ones that match the sports bra that I showed you before. I love these ones, I wear these. I've not actually worn them to the gym yet, but I've worn them as fashion leggings. Um, again, the length of them is a lot, lot better than the older flex stuff. These ones, I would say, are really, really good. I like the kind of gel sticky bit in it because it causes the um doesn't make them like slip down don't fold over and the waistband isn't as messed up as the other dreamy the other flex that i showed you because i believe these are flex as well but i like these a lot uh, the only thing i'm sad about is i can i show you i've got two little holes on the leg somewhere which i'm so sad about so i'm really nervous to wear these again because i don't want to make the holes bigger so I've not actually worn them since I found the little two little holes. I mean, the holes are freaking tiny, but I'm just nervous. But I love these. These are so comfy. The material, again, is very different to the other material of the Flex stuff. These are more... They're more fabric-y. These are more closer to, like, gym leggings. Like, stereotypical kind of feeling. I love them. They're so great. They match. The yellow sports bra that I showed you and even like the yellow t-shirt that I'll come to in a minute. I love them. They're great. And this video is going to be a long ass one because I'm rambling. The last pair of leggings that I own, I own quite a few as we've seen, are these ones. They're the seamless range I believe. The camel. I love them. Again, they've got the same waistband as the red pair that I showed you. Very sucky any. I love these. I wore these to the gym the other day. The length is really good. I like the logo is down the ankle. I really like the little cuff bit at the bottom. They've also moved the label down to the bottom on your ankle. Because for ages I was like, where the heck is the label? And then I found it on the ankle. Um, I don't know why they moved did that there, but honestly I don't feel it. It doesn't bother me. I never even noticed. I also wear these as fashion leggings. They are the most expensive pair. They are £50, which I think is just super expensive but I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them because I do get a lot of wear out of all of these leggings even my Primark ones I get a lot of wear out of it I wear them all the time to the gym and then also wear them as fashion leggings so as long as they last a long time I think the £50 will be worth it as long as they don't start deteriorating I will try and look after them all I'll try and look after all my clothes as well as I possibly can so as long as they don't deteriorate really quickly then I think it'll be worth the £50. I never thought I'd pay £50 for a pair of leggings but here we are. I bought a pair of £50 leggings. So that is all of my leggings. We can now move on to t-shirts and tops. So here is a yellow Gymshark t-shirt. I've not actually worn this anywhere yet but I've tried it on with my yellow leggings. It's very yellow but I really like it. I actually did wear this as a fashion t-shirt the other day. I love the fit of it. The material is really soft. It's just a nice, 
it's just a nice t-shirt I think um I think it's really good in the summertime even with you know what I think it's been nice in the summertime with like a pair of nice blue shorts I really like it I like the I can't remember what it's called but like the kind of half logo down the bottom really nice a good one I like it also looks really nice with my black dreamies um and my camo too I like it it's a good one to wear to the gym my next top is this one I did actually show this in a haul um, if I remember what haul it was in, I'll link it. I really like this one. I love the back detailing, the kind of cross back, kind of shiz going on. Um, I love the kind of deep bit there and then it's got like a V side. I also like that it's reversible so you can get the kind of same ready colour if you want. Or you can have it on the grey side depending on how you're feeling. I like the vent part on the back. Because I get quite a sweaty back, so that's quite nice. I find it hard to find a sports bra to go with this because, like I said, I've only got my big racer back ones, but I do have the one that I couldn't find as well. So that one goes quite nicely with this one. And yeah, it's a good one. I think I love that it's reversible because you can get two tops for the price of one, basically. Um, I do tend to wear the grey side a bit more. I just find it goes with a lot more of my leggings, but I do really like the red side too. It's a good top. It's a good one. My next top is this one that says leg day on it. It's a kind of coppery gold writing that is already like faded deliberately. Uh, this one's from Primark. I really like it. It's slouchy. It's good on the days where I've not waxed. It is very see-through though. Like I don't know if you can see my coat hanger through. But it's very see-through but I like it. I also like this as a fashion t-shirt. It's kind of it's that annoying material that kind of hangs but also sticks to you at the same time. Um, but I like it. It's a bit awkward when you're not doing leg day and you're doing like shoulders or whatever and you're wearing a t-shirt that says leg day on it. But I like it. It's a good one. Next up is this one. Again from Primark that says believe, achieve. As you can tell I'm not afraid of colour. I will, I will wear colour to the gym. This one I've not actually worn in a long ass time. I did really like it. Because of my skin kind of tone, it makes me look kind of tanned, which I really like. Um, it is a bit small for me now and it's a bit um, tight and it's also a bit see-through, but I like it. I think just if you're just starting out in the gym, a nice cheap Primark tank is all you really need. I love this. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it though because honestly, it's just full Honestly, I've not worn it in an age. So, I don't know, we'll see, maybe I'll wear it again, but I like how tanned it makes me look. The next one I have is this other Primark one, which I love the colours of. It's pink and blue, I love it, and it says, let's do this. Um, you can tell at one point I was into like, motivational quotes. <laughs> I love how deep the back goes on this one, I really really do. I love how like, low down it goes. I love the big blue striped in the back. It's very floaty. The length is really nice and long. And I just really like this one. I like how much back is on show, I think. I've, again, I've not worn this one in quite a while, but I might get it out and wear it a bit more. It's a good one. I think I've said it's a good one to like everyone right now. So, here's another pink one. This one's a good one too. It's Gymshark one, this one. Um. Again, I would say it's the same material as the Primark ones. It feels identical to the Primark ones and it's just as see-through as the Primark ones too. I love this. It goes with all of my flex leggings and my pink sports bras and stuff. And I love the back. So you've got like a cut-out cut out detail and a kind of bit that covers your sports bra, I guess. Um, but I really like it. I love how open the back is. I love the cut-out detail. I really like it. It's just a simple sports bra. It's really see-through though, as you can see. But I like it. I wear this one the most, I think. I love this one. I love a tank. I wear tanks all the time. I just really like it. So my next one is this one. I don't know if I count this one because honestly, I never wore it to the gym and I don't know if I ever will wear it to the gym because it feels a bit too warm. It's ribbed. It's nice. It's from their slounge wear. I don't know if I'd wear it to the gym, so I don't know if it counts adding it into this, but I really like it. It's from Gymshark again. Like I said, part of their slounge where you get matching joggers, I think long sleeve tops, and I think that's about it. <laughs> but 
but I really like it, I love the material. I might wear it to the gym. I think we're meant to get snow soon, so I guess it would be kind of good there, and my gym loves to crank up the AC, so, but I don't know, I just really like it, I love how deep the back is again, the big open arm part. It's good. So I guess my next range, my last set actually, is long sleeves. This is from Gymshark. It smells so nice because it's just out the wash. Because I do wear this. It's a dark purple um, long sleeve top and I just really like it. Uh, I like wearing this with my camo stuff. It's really nice. I also like the sleeves, how it's like longer at the top has like a bit of a curve going on. I really like that. I think it just fits really nicely. It's a bit loose, but not too loose. It's a good one. I know they do this in lots of different colors. I love this. I also did try the baby pink one. I think I did it in a haul. I didn't keep it, but I loved it and it was so nice. I love this on like, obviously I live in Scotland, so it gets quite cold. So I love this in like the winter months. It's a good one. So I guess my long, next long sleeve one, which I again, still haven't worn, still got the tag on it, um, is this long sleeve um, gym track top again, which has the ribbony things to tie around your stomach, and it's got thumb holes, which I love. I frippin' love the colour of this. I think the colour of this is just so nice. I've not worn it yet because I don't have the confidence to have my stomach out of the gym yet, but I'm keeping it for when I do. And so I just think it's such a nice top. I've tried it on, I really like it. I'm pretty sure there was a photo of me in it on Instagram. I don't remember. But um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's great and I love thumb holes. Gymshark is killing it with the thumb holes. So my next top again, which is just out the wash, so smells amazing, is this one, which I think came out in just after Boxing Day. I don't remember what range it is though. Mm. Um, but I flippin' love it. It's a long sleeve pullover top. It has a set that goes down to like just below the boobs basically. I love the big open back. I wear, I've worn this two or three times to the gym already. I flippin' love it. Um, Cause like I said, it's getting kind of cold here. I love the material. I just love how soft it is. I love the colour of it. And it goes with so many of the leggings and sports bras and stuff I have. I love the zip. I think it's just a nice top. I love it. Good job Gymshark. So the next one I have, again it's another Gymshark one, um, is this red hoodie. I wear this all the time, it's like a fashion hoodie but I do also wear it to the gym because some days I just like to sweat it all out and the best way to do that is to wear a hoodie. I love this one. It also has a hood um, but it also has a big open back which I really like. Um, there are a few photos of me on Instagram with this on so you can check that out if you want to see what it looks like. I really like it, I love the length of it, I love the fit of it, the sleeves, I love the big kind of cuffs because um, you know how I feel about sleeves if you've watched any of my hauls and it's just a good hoodie for the gym and also just in life. It's a good hoodie. Another point to Gymshark. My last thing that I have is this black pullover. What would you call this? Top thing from Primark. I love this. I've had this for about four years. It's great. It's like a running kind of top. I wear it to the gym. I wear it anywhere really. I'm not too fussed. Again, it's got thumb holes, which I love, especially if you're running, thumb holes are always just great. Thumb holes are quite small on this, I believe. You do have thumb holes, where are you? I'm so confused, I thought it had thumb holes, but apparently not. Yeah, thumb holes, why can't I find another one? So the thumb holes are pretty small, but I still really love it. It's from Primark, it was like 10 pounds. It's great, it's lasted me four years. There's nothing wrong with it. It's still in perfect condition. It is great, I love it. I love the pockets on it. I wish they were a bit more secure, especially for a top that probably most people will wear for running. I just wish they had zips in the pockets or something. But I love the length of it. I love the slightly reflective strips in the front. 
I love the tiny little logo. I love how subtle it is. It's just a good top to wear if you're somewhere cold or if you're going running. It's just a really good top. And another thing that's lasted really well from Primark, and I'm so freaking happy because it was like £10 and it's still great and I still wear it all the time. So that is my fitness collection. Forgot one pair of leggings that time where it was impossible to find a pair of trousers to wear that weren't fitness related so I put these ones on. I'll put pictures of them here. They are I think the Aspect grey leggings. I love them. I wear them all the time again. These ones are my black dreamy ones are like I wear them not wearing one I'll wear the other basically. I love these. These are so soft. I wear them all the time. They are starting to wear down a bit um, in between my legs. I've only had them since August, I believe. I went to Amsterdam, flip and loved them. Um, they do get quite hot and sweaty. I don't wear them to the gym that much because I do get quite hot in them. Um, but I flip and love them. They're so comfortable. The material is so soft. They're great. And I think they're one of the cheaper pairs. I think they're like £15, maybe. But yeah, I love them. They're great. They're another pair of leggings but I had to wear something so they're not in here. But I hope you enjoyed this video and got some clothing inspo from Ruth of Gem. And I hope you don't mind that there's only two brands. I only own two brands of clothing um, for the gym. I want to try out new ones so if you have any suggestions let me know. And yeah, hope you're doing well in your fitness goals if that's what you're doing. Um, I hope you, if you're not doing that, then I hope all your other goals, if you have any, are going well. I'm going to go now because I am starving and it's lunchtime and I can hear my dog and he's getting a bit restless downstairs. So, yes. And I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!